everyone, this is Drew at Headset Advisor, and today I'm going to provide you four tips on how to avoid your microphone volume from automatically adjusting on Windows. Now, keep in mind, I don't work for Microsoft, or do I claim to be a Microsoft expert, but the tips and tricks I'm going to share with you is uh, information I've learned over the years of helping customers troubleshoot their headsets, and this comes up from time to time as a problem where a customer doesn't want their headset microphone automatically adjusting back up to 100%. They want to adjust their microphone volume where it's best for their headset so they sound crystal clear. If this video by the end of it is helpful, please hit the like, subscribe for more videos like this, and leave us a comment with your thoughts, or if you have a question, uh, ask that question in the comments and we'll answer back. If we don't have the answer, we'll see if we can get it and help you out further from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And the first thing we want to do is go to the control panel. So in the search bar, type control panel. Go to hardware and sound. Go to sound. And in this box, you want to go to recording. In the recording tab, you're going to go to your audio device. My audio device is the Discover D722U headset. Double click that. Go to advanced. Uncheck the box that says allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. Uncheck that. Click OK. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, hit the communications tab and check this box that says do nothing. If yours doesn't say do nothing, hit do nothing, hit apply, then click OK. If that still doesn't fix the issue, go to the search bar again in Windows and type device manager. In device manager, go ahead and scroll down to sound, video, and game controllers right here. Double click that, go to your audio device, right click your audio device hit update driver, and then choose search automatically for drivers. I already did this, so my headset is fully up to date. But if your audio devices need to be updated and it goes through updates, this alone may also be the fix. If that still isn't the fix, go ahead and type in to the search bar Windows update. Go to the Windows update settings. Check for updates on your computer. If there's any updates available, run through the updates and then restart your computer try again and see if that's the fix. The last thing that you may be able to try that I haven't personally done with a customer is running a virus scan. So I was reading on a Microsoft form, some customers reported they went through a virus scan, um, found a virus, removed the virus, and then that fixed their issue. So between one of these five tips, hopefully this does uh, fix the issue for you. If it doesn't, the last thing you can do really is reach out to Microsoft support team and see if they can pinpoint the issue, if they can give you any further tips that I'm not aware of or that I don't know about. So that's it for now. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please hit the like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.